In this video, we're going to have a look at hire purchase agreements. A hire purchase agreement is a short-term loan that is often used to buy household appliances and furniture. With a hire purchase agreement, simple interest is always used. Usually, it is expected of the buyer to pay a deposit or a first payment. The balance after that deposit has then been made, along with interest added to that balance, is then repaid in a certain amount of time. Example, Adrian buys a fridge with 6,500 Rand on a higher purchase agreement, which should be repaid in equal monthly payments over two years. He has to pay a deposit of 10% and thereafter interest of 8,5% per annum is added. Calculate Adrian's monthly payment. We have a few calculations that we need to do before we can determine the monthly payment. Firstly, we need to determine the amount that Adrian needs to pay as a deposit. This deposit will be 10% or 10 over 100 of the 6,500 Rand. So he will have to pay a deposit of 650 Rand. Next, we need to know what the balance is on which interest will have to be paid. This balance is the original price of the fridge minus the deposit that he already paid. And that means the balance that he still owes is 5,850 Rand. Next, we can go and add the interest to this. And when doing this, I'm going to use the formula that determines the final amount. This amount will then include the balance and the interest that was added. In this formula, the starting value is only that which he still owes after he paid the deposit. And then they said that the interest rate will be 8,5% and he will pay this back over two years. This means that Adrian still needs to pay another 6,844 Rand and 50 cents after he paid the deposit. It is important to realize that even though he will make monthly payments, the interest is calculated per annum or per year, and that is why we used an N value of 2. Adrian should pay this amount in equal monthly payments over the next two years, and this means that the 6,844 Rand and 50 cents should be divided into 24 equal payments. Therefore, each payment will be 285 Rand and 19 cents. Question two, determine the total amount that Adrian will pay for the fridge. Right at the beginning, Adrian already paid a deposit of 650 Rand, and then he will make another 24 payments of 285 Rand and 19 cents each. This means in total he will pay 7,494 Rand and 56 cents for this fridge instead of the original 6,500 Rand. From this example, it is clear to see that even though a higher purchase looks like a good option because of the small monthly payment, you will pay a lot more than you should for whatever it is that you are buying. Because higher purchase works with simple interest, you will always keep paying interest on the original amount, regardless of how much of that amount you've already repaid. Example 2. Jessica buys a smartphone of 11,799 Rand and 90 cents on higher purchase. She will have to pay 639 Rand per month for 24 months. No deposit is paid. Calculate the simple interest rate of her agreement. In this example, the calculations are in the opposite order of the previous one because here we already know that her monthly payment will be 639 Rand and she'll pay that 24 times. 
This means we know that she will pay 15,336 Rand for this smartphone instead of the original 11,799 Rand and 90 cents. Everything she paid more than the original amount is interest and we are asked to calculate the interest rate. Higher purchase is always calculated with simple interest so we can substitute into this formula. Of the four variables we need to calculate I, the interest rate, so for the rest we need to substitute values. In this case the final amount is what she paid in total for this smartphone and the original amount is the original cost of the phone. This should be multiplied by the bracket in which we want to calculate I. And here it is important to realize that an interest rate here is calculated per annum. So that means the period should be in years. So the 24 months are actually two years. So now we can solve I. We will do this by first dividing the left hand side by our starting or original value and then on the right we'll have what's left inside the bracket, the 1 plus 2 times i. Next up we will subtract 1 on the left hand side and then finally divide the whole left hand side by 2 to solve i. This means that i will be 0, 0,14983 and to change this to an interest rate, we need to multiply by 100, so that will be 14,98% per annum.